Hi everyone, welcome to AHR's IES Institute. We are back again with the important questions for prelims 2020. So let us begin. Question number one. Choose the correctly matched pairs, philosophy with the founder. Number one, Varshesika, Kannada. Number two, Nyaya, Gautama. Number three, Samkhya, Kapila. Number four, Mimansa, Jamini. Number five, Vedanta, Vyasa. Select the answer using the codes given below. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 2, 3, 5 only. C. 1 and 4 only. Or D. All of the above. And the correct answer is D. All of the above. India's exploration of truth over centuries has come to be represented by six systems of philosophies. These are known as Vaisheshika School, which deals with metaphysics. It was founded by the sage Kannada. It is an objective and realistic philosophy of the universe. According to this school of philosophy, the universe is a reducible to finite number of atoms, Brahman being the fundamental force causing consciousness of these atoms. The other school is Nyaya school, follows a scientific and rational approach. Sage Gautama is the founder of this school. Nyaya school banks upon various pramans, mechanism of attaining knowledge. It believes that gaining knowledge through the five senses is the sole way of attaining liberation from the cycle of birth and death. Then we move on to Samkhya, which is the oldest of all philosophies put forth by the sage Kapila. It is a dualistic philosophy with Purusha, soul and Prakriti, nature in it. Advaita Vedanta derives its base from Samkhya school. Samkhya also devolves philosophical basis for yoga. It emphasizes the attainment of knowledge of self through meditation and concentration. We move on to Purva Mimansa school, which believes in the complete authority of Vedas. It is based on, say, Jaimini's Mimamsa Sutra. It emphasizes the power of yajnas and mantras in sustaining the activities of the universe. It states that a human being can attain salvation only by acting in conformity with the principles of Vedas. Uttara Mimansa or Vedanta school is a monoistic school of philosophy that believes that the world is unreal and the only reality is Brahman. The three sub-branches of Vedanta are Advaita of Shankaracharya, Vishishta Advaita of Ramunajacharya and Dvaita of Madhvacharya. Uttara Mimamsa is based on Upanishads, the end portions of the Vedas. Yoga school introduces the methods of discipline of body and mind. Sage Patanjali is the founder of yoga. Emancipation of Purush from Prakriti by self-awareness through the discipline of body and mind is conceptualized by yoga. It is believed that practicing Ashtanga Yoga is the way to relive oneself from past sins in order to make way for liberation. Let's move on to the next question. Number two, consider the following statements with reference to Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC. Number one, OIC is the second largest intergovernmental organization after the UN, United Nations. Number two, India is neither a member nor an observer of the OIC. Number three, the OIC has permanent delegations to the UN and the European Union. Select the answer using the codes given below. A. 1 and 3 only. B. 2 and 3 only. C. 1 only. Or D. All of the above. And the correct answer is D. All of the above. Organization of Islamic Cooperation has criticized India for what it what is called growing Islamophobia. IOC said Muslim minorities are being negatively profiled facing discrimination and violence amidst the COVID-19 crisis in India. Permanent Secretariat of OIC is in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The official language of the OIC are Arabic, English and French. OIC created the Cairo Declaration on Human Rights in Islam to serve as guidance for the member states in the matters of human rights in as much as they are compatible with the Sharia or the Quranic law. Next question, which of the following statements is or are correct? Number 1. 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act repealed right to property in India and inserted Article 300A. 
Number two, property is no longer a fundamental right which implies the aggrieved individual cannot move to Supreme Court in case of any violation. Select the answer using the codes given below. A1 only, B2 only, C both or D none. Correct answer is B2 only. First statement is incorrect because 44th Constitutional Amendment Act repealed the entire Article 31 and Article 19, Number 1, F and inserted Article 300A. Recently, the Supreme Court has reiterated that forcible dispossession of a person of his private property without due process of law is a human right violation. Right to property as a human right. In several cases, the Supreme Court of India has held that the right to property is not just a statutory right, but it is also a human right. Universal Declaration of Human Rights 1948 under Section 17, 1 and 2 also recognizes right to property. It states that everyone has the right to own property alone as well as in association with others. It also states that no one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his property. Let's move on to the next question. Number four, consider the following statements. Number one, microbes, lichens and mosses are considered as pioneer species responsible for primary succession on a terrestrial site. Number two, a serial community is a transitional community that is formed and replaced during ecological succession. Number three, a secondary ecological succession is relatively slower than the primary succession due to invasion of new species. Select the answer using the codes given below. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2, 3 or D. 2 and 3 only. The correct answer is A. 1 and 2 only. The third statement is incorrect because the secondary succession starts on a well-developed soil already formed at the site. Thus, secondary succession is relatively faster than the primary succession. The pioneer species disappear as the habitat conditions change and invasion of new species progresses, leading to the replacement of the preceding communities. What is ecological succession? The process by which communities of plant and animal species in an area are replaced or changed into another over a period of time is known as ecological succession. Succession is a universal process of directional change in vegetation on an ecological time scale. Succession occurs due to large scale changes or destruction natural or man-made. The process involves a progressive series of changes with one community replacing another until a stable, mature, climax community develops. Succession would occur faster in area existing in the middle of the large continent. This is because here seeds of plants belonging to the different seeds would reach much faster. The first plant to colonize an area is called the pioneer community. The final stage of succession is called the climax community. A climax community is stable, mature, more complex and long-lasting. The stage leading to the climax community is called successional stages or series. Question number five, which of the following statements is or are incorrect? Number one, in many terrestrial ecosystems, consumer biomass exceeds the producer biomass. Number two, pyramid of numbers may not always be upright and may even be completely inverted. Number three, the pyramid of biomass has a large base of primary producers and at the high tropic level, the amount of biomass is less. Select the answer using the codes given below. A. 1 only, B. 2 and 3 only, C. 3 only or D. None. You have to tell which one is incorrect. Correct answer is a. 1 only. Only the first statement is incorrect. Number 2 and 3 are correct. Now the first statement is incorrect because in many aquatic ecosystems, the pyramid of biomass may assume an inverted form. Please note, in contrast, a pyramid of numbers for the aquatic system is upright. This is because the producers are tiny phytoplankton that grows and reproduce rapidly. 
Here the pyramid of biomass has a small base with the consumer biomass at any instant exceeding the producer biomass and hence the pyramid assumes an inverted shape. What are ecological pyramids? The pyramidal representation of trophic levels of different organisms based on their ecological position producer to final consumer is known as ecological pyramid. The food producer forms the base of the pyramid and the top carnivore forms the tip. Other consumer trophic levels are in between. The ecological pyramids are of three categories, pyramid of numbers, pyramid of biomass and pyramid of energy productivity. Let's move on. Next question number six. Consider the following statements. Number one, the wet dry tropical biome trees are deciduous and shed their leaves in the cool dry season. Number two, the plants have long tap roots with thick bark and trunk with the ability to store water during periods of drought. Number three, most of the animals in the tropical wet and dry biome have long legs or wings to be able to go on long migrations. Select the answer using the codes given below. A. One only. B. Two only. C. All or D. None. Correct answer is C. All. All three are correct. A savanna is a rolling grassland scattered with shrubs and isolated trees, which can be found between a tropical rainforest and desert biome. Many trees are umbrella shaped, exposing only a narrow edge to the strong winds. Savanna biome highly specialized plants and animals, rich in mammal, bird, and reptile diversity. They all depend on each other to keep the environment in balance. Not enough rain falls on a savanna to support forest. Savannas are also known as tropical grasslands. They are found in a wide band on either side of the equator on the edges of tropical rainforest. Savannas have warm temperature year around. There are actually two very different seasons in savanna a very long, dry season known as winter, and a very wet season, summer. Question number seven. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Number one, the governor appoints the leader of the largest party of the house, a leader chosen by the largest coalition to become the chief minister of a particular state. Number two, the resignation or death of the chief minister leads to vacancy in the council of ministers. Select the answer using the codes given below. A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both. Or D. None. The correct answer is A. One only. The second statement is incorrect because chief minister resignation or death leads to dissolution of the council of ministers. Chief minister's position in state is analogous to the prime minister's position at the center. As head of the council of ministers, he recommends people to be appointed as ministers to the governor. He allocates and reshuffles portfolios amongst them. He can ask the minister to resign or tell the governor to dismiss him. He supervises activities of all ministers. He can advise governor to summon or prorogue the house sessions. He can advise dissolution of legislative assembly to the governor anytime. He announces government policies on the floor of the house. Please note the CM plus the council of ministers are the real executives of the state. They aid and advise the governor in exercise of his functions, but such advice is not binding on the governor. The 42nd Amendment did not make it binding on the governor as it did not make it binding to the president. Let's move on. Question number 8. Which of the following states has been declared COVID-19 free recently? A. Tamil Nadu, B. Himachal Pradesh, C. Nagaland or D. None of the above. And the correct answer is the none of the above. As for April 2020, up until now, none of the states uh, have been declared COVID-19 free. Out of these, um, Goa has become the first zero COVID-19 state in the country with the last seven positive cases also turning negative. This makes Goa the first green state in the country with no case of COVID-19 being reported since April 3. So none out of these is Goa. And the correct answer is none of the above. 
Goa has become the first zero COVID-19 state in the country with the last seven positive cases also turning negative. This makes Goa the first green state in the country with no case of COVID-19 being reported since April 3. Let's move on. Question number 9. Which of the following is or are considered as the negative impact of ozone depletion? Number 1. Reduction in phytoplankton production. Number 2. Altering both sources and sinks of carbonyl sulfide. Number 3. Development of cataracts. Number 4. Decreased reproductive capacity and impaired larval development. Select the answer using the codes given below. A. 1 in 3 only. B. All. C. 1, 2, 3 only. Or D. None. correct answer is all, all four are correct. Ozone layer depletion increases the amount of UVB that reaches the earth's surface. Laboratory and epidemiological studies demonstrate that UVB causes non-melanoma skin cancer and plays a major role in malignant melanoma development. In addition, UVB has been linked to the development of cataracts, a clouding of the eye's lens. Phytoplankton forms the foundation of aquatic food webs. Phytoplankton productivity is limited to the euphotic zone, the upper layer of the water column, in which there is sufficient sunlight to support net productivity. Exposure to solar UVB radiation has been shown to affect both orientation and motility in phytoplankton, resulting in reduced survival rates for these organisms. Scientists have demonstrated a direct redu reduction in phytoplankton production due to ozone depletion related increases in UVB. Increases in UVB radiation could affect terrestrial and aquatic biogeochemical cycles, thus altering both sources and stings of the greenhouse and chemically important trace gases, for example carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, carbon sulfide, ozone and possibly some other gases. UVB radiation has been found to cause damage to early developmental stages of fish, shrimp, crab, amphibians and other marine animals. The most severe effects are decreased reproductive capacity and impaired larval development. Small increases in UVB exposure could result in population reduction for small marine organisms with implications for the whole marine food chain. Last question. Water and climate change is released by a. World Bank B. United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change C. Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change or D. None of the above Correct answer is D. None of the above Recently, the United Nations World Water Development Report 2020 titled water and climate change was released. It is a comprehensive review that gives an overall picture of the state, use and management of the world's freshwater resources and aims to provide decision makers with tools to formulate and implement sustainable water policies. It is published by UNESCO on behalf of the UN Water. The 2020 edition of the UN World Water Development Report addresses the critical linkages between water and climate change in the context of sustainable development. Report finds that water rarely appears in international climate agreements even though it plays a key role in issues such as food security, energy production, economic development and even poverty reduction. It concludes that reducing both the impacts and drivers of climate change will require substantial changes in the way we use and reuse the earth's limited water resources. The UN Water coordinates the efforts of UN entities and international organizations working on water and sanitation issues. Its members and partners inform about water and sanitation policies, monitor and report on progress, and coordinate two annual global campaigns on World Water Day and World Toilet Day. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you for watching us. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All the best. We will be back soon.